Go. Climates associated with cold environments are varied and extreme. This includes ext extremes of temperature, precipitation and wind. Vegetation found in Arctic areas is adapted to the climate in a number of ways. The main characteristics, such as small size and predominance of perennials, are well adapted to a highly seasonal climate with a very cold winter and a short summer. The cold environment's climate is dry and cold towards the poles. At these points, plant cover is reduced, as well as plant height being shorter. <laughs> Less than 10. <laughs> Carry on! Less than 10% of Poland's desert ecosystems are covered by vegetation, with moss and lichen covering a high proportion of ground. In really cold areas, moss will grow in small... What does that say? I don't even know. Drenches. Drenches or crenches? <laughs> Trenches. Yeah. These low-lying plants find insulation beneath the snow and additionally do not feel the full impact of the wind with a temperature up to 25 degrees warmer at that level. Genetic feature that vegetation in cold environments are large outstretched roof structures. This enables the plant to seek more food and store more food during winter. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey there! <laughs> Do you want your script? Uh, please! <laughs> <laughs> to maximise the growth period annually for these plants due to the cold short winter, genetically the plants are able to grow at low temperatures. <laughs> they have a lower optimum photosynthesis temperature than other plants. Preformed flower beds enable more time for seed production. The cold ecosystems are not ideal conditions plants to grow, so frost resistance of the flower, seeds and fruit has been naturally developed. In the cold conditions it is common for plants to grow in rock beds, so are drought resistant in those conditions. Dwarf shrubs and growths are to species that can survive in cold environments due to their adaptations. Soil is strongly affected by permafrost in these areas. Dominant soil factors mean that permafrost in low temperatures leads to the lack of nutrients. Waterlogging, however, will lead to acid pumice, a blue-grey blotchy mud where there is a lack of oxygen contained. Tundra glaze are where nutrients are limited and low precip precipitation and few rainfall nutrients produce this. Frozen ground cover is difficult for roots to absorb. However, podzol, soil in coniferous areas, where is where rainfall exceeds evaporation. Here, nutrients are rich and the soil is thick. Ready? Be with us next week for semi-arid environments. <laughs>